Hello, this is Rick with B100 Supply. I'm going to show you the way heat way method of quantitatively testing for water in vegetable oil or biodiesel. On the left, we have a digital scale. It's the equivalent of a triple beam balance. It has a 2,600 gram maximum and a 0.1 gram resolution. It's this basically has the same functions capabilities as the triple beam. On the right we have a hot plate stirrer uh, with magnetic stirrer, a 250 milliliter beaker, and a bimetallic temperature gauge. We turn on the digital scale and we're going to account for the weight of the beaker stir bar and magnetic stirrer by placing them on the digital scale and pressing the zero function key. With the scale zeroed we can now add the biodiesel. We could be adding vegetable oil, it doesn't matter. This is biodiesel. We're going to add between 180 and 200 grams because that's what this beaker can safely hold. It looks like 190.4 grams. So now we move this over to the hot plate stirrer and boil the water out. I skipped over the adjustments for the hot plate stirrer to save time. Um, let's take a close, closer look at this beaker. As you can see, the uh, the beaker, the oil in the beaker is a little bit cloudy or turbid. Um, I use a hot plate stirrer because I like it. I think it's neat. I use it in my biodiesel lab for all kinds of stuff, um, so I get a lot of use out of it. Um, they are expensive, anywhere from three to five to seven hundred dollars for one like this one. They uh, are budget busters. What else can you say? Um, hot plates that you cook on, those single eyed hot plates with uh, like a stove element on the top, generally run. 10 to 20 bucks at the uh, hard at the department stores or on the internet. Um, that's a lot cheaper than three to five hundred dollars. Uh, you can, but you just don't have the stir bar, stir, stir in it. You just, we just reach into 12. Um, as that as you can't really notice it, but there are just a couple of bubbles starting to form. As temperature increases, you'll see more bubbles. Um, eventually, the temperature will increase and the bubbles will stop or slow down. That's when we turn the uh, heat off. It's finished boiling and we're ready to get our final weight reading. To do that, we've got to move it back to the digital scale and take our reading of 189.4. Let's move it back to the hot plate stir because it's hot and we don't want to damage our digital scale. Let's look at the math. The wet weight or original sample weight is 190.4 grams. The dry weight was 189.4 grams. The difference or the water weight was 1 gram. The percent water content is the 1 gram difference divided by the original sample weight of 190.4 times 100 or 0.525 percent. We multiply that times 10,000 to come up with 5,250 parts per million. To determine the resolution for this test we take the smallest increment of the scale which in this case is 0.1 gram divide by the sample size of 190.4 Four grams, then multiply it by one million to come up with 525 grams, or excuse me, parts per million. The um, test results would then come, be read as 5,250 parts per million plus or minus about 500 parts per million. As you can see, this is not really accurate enough to measure the water content and finished fuel to ASTM levels. To do that, we need to increase the sample size to at least 500 grams or use a uh, test like the carbide manometer. Uh, 
that finishes this for today. We hope you found this useful, and good day from B100 Supply.